Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to create this flaming Valentine's Day manicure using some nail tips as well as dip powder from the brand Double Dip. So let's get right into the video. So I'm starting off with my clean and prep natural nails and please ignore the hangnail on my middle finger. My hands have been super dry lately and my skin has been cracking. So I wanted to film even regardless of my hands not looking the best. And I just wanted to show you my other hand there quickly. I did use the double dip full coverage nail tips on my right hand and did a simple French manicure which I think turned out super cute. So I'm going to be doing the extensions on my other hand as well, except with some dip powder. So here are the shades I was sent. That was First Kiss Sweet Love. Here is Hot Stuff. And then the last shade is called Crazy For You. So all of these are new colors for Valentine's Day. And I think they are all absolutely stunning. So like I said, I am going to be using the gel system from Double Dip. These are full coverage tips that you apply with a thicker gel and it leaves a really beautiful nail extension on the natural nail. So here I'm just showing you that there are a bunch of different sizes and I went ahead and picked out the size fitted for each of my nails. And now I'm just going to be going ahead and prepping the nails a little bit more for the application. So I did already file and shape them, and now I'm just taking a gentle buffer to buff the surface of my nail. And you really want to make sure around the cuticle area and the side walls is roughened up so that the gel product can adhere properly. And here is the 4-in-1 base coat I'm using for application. The first step is to just apply a thin layer of this to the natural nail and cure, and then we're going to go ahead and apply the tips after. And I don't go super in depth with the tip application in this video, so if you do want a more detailed video on that, I do have a few other videos on my channel sharing that technique, so I will link one of them in the cards so you can check that out if you are interested. But basically, I went ahead and cured that thin layer of gel I applied to my natural nail, and now I'm taking a small bead in the well of the tip, and once I am happy with the amount in there, I'm going to start placing the tip down at the cuticle area, and then gently pushing the product down towards the tip, and carefully curing under the lamp. And then I'm just going to be repeating that process on the rest of my nails. So again, I want to apply a thin layer of the gel onto the natural nail, cure that layer, and then go in with the nail tip. So I'm just applying a small amount into the well. And then I'm going to place that starting with the cuticle, pushing down towards the tip and curing. So I think this technique of gel extensions is actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It does take a little bit of practice to know the right amount of product to apply in the tip, as well as the pressure of applying it down on the nail. But once you get used to it, I think that this is definitely a great method for beginners to get a really beautifully structured nail extension. So I did go ahead and do the rest of the nails off camera just to save a little bit of time. And now since these nails are definitely too long for my liking, I'm going to take a tip cutter just to easily cut down some of that extra length. And then I'm going to be taking a regular nail clipper to clip in the sides of the tip. And this is just because I'm going for more of an almond or rounded shape. And I'm going to save a little bit of filing by just cutting off the excess tip. So that is what I'm doing here. And obviously, if you want your nails to be more square, you would skip this step. It totally just depends on the shape you are going for. And then of course, I'm going to be taking a nail file to really get the shape I want. And this is the shape I'm going for, the same one that I did on my other hand. So I'm just starting with the side walls and tapering those in, and then rounding out the corners to create a beautifully rounded nail. Now, I do think that the filing is honestly the hardest part of this entire process, just because you have to be quite meticulous to get the shape right. Um, so I didn't show this on camera because it's a little bit hard to file under the camera angle, but here is the finished shape I went for after filing off camera. And now I'm just taking that same file and roughening up the surface of the tip, so I'm just taking away that plastic shine. And this is so that the dip powder will adhere nice and strong to the plastic. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of my nails. And here's what that looks like when all of the filing is complete. So the dip powder shade I'm using is Hot Stuff from Double Dip. This is an absolutely stunning hot pink color. And I knew immediately once I saw it, I had to use it for Valentine's Day because it's the perfect hot pink for that. I will also be using my Double Dip Base Liquid to do the dip application. So I'm starting off by doing a thin, even layer of the base over my entire nail. And then I'm going to be dipping that into the powder and tapping off any excess. And the dip application over the tips is the same exact process you would do over your natural nail. Nothing changes except the uh, product that you're applying it to, I guess you would say. Um, because obviously I'm applying it to plastic here instead of my natural nail plate. But like I said before, I'm just doing the same dip application process I always do, applying a thin layer of base, dipping into the powder, and tapping off any excess. And the double dip dip powder formula is always a pleasure to work with. It's super easy and smooth to apply, and I really had no issues with this color. So I did end up doing two coats for full opacity, although you can see here that one coat is super opaque, so honestly you probably could get away with one. I just always prefer to do two to really build up that color and thickness of the nail. So I will let you guys watch me finish up the dip application process, and then I will be back for the next step. Alright, and now that all of the dip powder is applied, I'm going to activate using my double dip activator. And this is just going to harden up all of the powder and make it ready for filing. And you may have noticed I didn't clear encapsulate, and that's because my colored dip application was super smooth, and I didn't feel it was necessary since the dip powder is just a solid, it's not like a glitter or anything. But if you feel it is necessary to do a clear layer, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And then I did go ahead and file the nails off camera. There was super minimal filing. And now I'm going to be using my double dip gel art shade in the number one. And this is what I'm going to be using to paint on the flames. Now I'm just going to say here that this was definitely a learning curve for me. I've never painted a design like this. And the first time I did the design on my middle nail right here, it ended up looking just like a little bit weird and not exactly how I wanted. So the design you're seeing right here on camera is actually a design I took off and then I redid this nail off camera. Um, but I just wanted to share that because doing my nails doesn't always come out perfect. And there's definitely practice that is involved with getting the design I want. So I wanted to say that I'm never perfect and doing nails definitely takes practice. But after I did the middle nail off camera, I figured out the technique and how I wanted it to look. So that's how I did my ring nail. Um, but anyway, the basic process that I'm doing here is drawing up a few uh, squiggly lines that are going to be the flames. And then the bottom is sort of the base where they all stem from. Now, that's kind of confusing hearing me say that. Um, you sort of just have to watch and see what I'm doing to make it make a little bit more sense. But that's the general idea of what's happening here. So I did do the middle nail and then I cured and then I went ahead and did the ring nail the same exact way and cured that nail as well. So I will let you guys watch me do the flames and then I will be back for the top coat application.
Okay, so after I painted on the flames, I cured like I said, and now I'm going to be applying a thin layer of gel top coat to all of my nails to seal in my design. So I'm just applying a nice thin layer over all of my nails, making sure to wrap the free edge and then curing them for 30 seconds. And this top coat is super glossy and shiny. I highly recommend it. And it also seals in the gel polish to make sure it doesn't peel off the nails and gives the dip powder a nice and smooth finish. So I'm just applying a thin layer to the rest of my nails and then I'm going to cure off camera. And here is the finished look at my completed Valentine's Day manicure using all double dip products. So I love how these nails came out, they're absolutely perfect for the upcoming holiday, and super simple to create. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.